guys, it's Daros Probs here, and welcome to this little tutorial on how to make custom loot tables with a behavior pack on Minecraft Bedrock Edition. So first of all, you want to go to this website up here, I'll have a link for it in the description, and you want to just go all the way down to the bottom if you haven't already got this behavior pack already. You need this, else it's going to be impossible. <laughs> We also need some sort of program that you can do coding with. A lot of people use Notepad++, but I like this Sublime Text. It's free. Um, yeah, there's a link for that as well. And then also a link for this website. Now this is where it gets really easy. This person, I don't know if he's French or German, but thanks very much for making this. I'll have a link for this in the description. Yeah, you basically you paste in a loot table down here and then you can just edit it on here so easy. But anyway, we'll get to that in a minute. And then you want to just put all these things on your desktop and basically make a new folder as well. And we're going to open up what we just downloaded, okay? So this is what you should get. It'll be in a raw file or a zip or whatever you want to call it. Um, all we're after is this loot tables though. But what we're going to do is copy all that and then paste it into that new folder we made. So we just want to paste it in there, make that big. We want to delete that, we want to delete that, and we want to delete the trading, because we're only doing loot tables, okay? So before you do anything, you want to come in here and obviously open it up on your Notepad++ or whatever you got, but I'm using this Sublime. And you just want to edit these numbers, okay? Now this is a custom UUID, it's just a special number so it knows what pack it is. And we can just rename this, whatever you want. I'll just put tut for tutorial, and I'll just put here again, tut. Like that. Okay, and then all I want to do is hit save. And yeah, we can exit out of that one. Go back on here. Go on the loot tables and we're going to be doing a random mob. Now, we're going to have to do something that obviously drops something. So let's just do a pig, okay? So I'm going to delete all the rest of these, which just make my life easier. So hit delete there. Select all these. Delete that. And we got the pig, okay? So double click on him. And then you get all this. Now this is what a loot table looks like, guys, if you haven't seen it before. A roll is how many times it's going to roll. <laughs> That's the best way to explain it. The pork chop dropping, okay. And obviously it says here, look, function, furnace smelt. Now that is basically when you've got your pig on fire, he will make a furnace smelt pork chop. So in other words, a cooked pork chop. And this is just explaining when you've got looting, it will, you know, add some extra stuff. Pretty easy, but I don't know how to type this stuff in. This is where this other website comes in hand. So all you need to do is control A and then copy all that. Okay, so it's all highlighted. Copy that. Go back to this website here. Okay, come down to the bottom and paste in this random code import it and then the magic happens look at this so that's exactly what I have on my sublime thing okay and it's all put into like normal English if that makes sense so look I can see here he's got a pork chop look I'm gonna get one to three and then it says smelt in the furnace if he's on fire tick easy so I can add a new thing to this now now you can either do item a loot table or empty I've tried the loot table, I can't get it to work, I'm probably being a noob, but let me know in the comments if I'm being a noob, probably. <laughs> so let's, we got a pig, so um, what can he drop, he can drop some apples, right, because pig, pigs and apples, I don't know, pork and apple basically. Uh, so we go for that, and we can add a function, we can set how many apples he's going to drop, so I want it to be 0 to 1, okay. So you go down here now, look, you can see. It says here, item, and then there's a weight, okay? Weight means if it's one, he's gonna drop it the most. If you put it to 99, 
it's not going to drop very often. No, let me rephrase that. <laughs> it's the other way around. If it's at 99, he will drop it. And if it's at 1, he is more likely not to drop it. But because there's only a weight of 1 on the other pork chop, this pork chop up here, it's they're both equal, if that makes sense. So if I set this to 2, right, he will more he will drop more apples than pork chops, okay? Now I'm gonna add a new pool, okay? So I'm gonna add a new item. Now for this one, we're gonna go for wall, okay? And I want to add a count again. We'll do zero to four pieces, okay? And then a function again of the, ooh, of the data value, okay? So we all know the 16 colors of wool, so the data value is 0 to 15. 0 being white, I think, and 15 being black, okay? So that should drop 0 to 4 of any colored wool, guys. <laughs> it's pretty awesome, isn't it? But I'm going to add a condition to it, okay? It has to be killed by a player for him to drop that, okay? So basically, this whole new pool thing is like a new loot table for the pig, if that makes sense. I hope it makes sense. <laughs> it took me a little while to get uh, around it, but I got there in the end. So all you need to do then is, you've got your codes you want, copy that, go back onto your software, delete the original pig one, paste it in, and you'll get all this, look. And I didn't even have to type in any of this. This is so difficult to do by hand. I tried and I tried. I did it a bit, but then it was just getting out of my brain. It was like, Phew. some of you guys probably know how to do this, but this this guy who ever made this website, oh, you're a legend. Thanks very much. <laughs> anyway, so all you need to do then is just save, get out of there, get out of there. We can get rid of all of these now, look. And then we got our new folder. So we're gonna rename that. We'll just call it again, tut. And then we want to go to our, you know, your files of Minecraft. So I'm going to copy that, go up to a random file, paste, go to behavior packs, and we've got all my behavior packs here, okay? Now, I don't need that. And I'm just going to move the tutorial into my behavior pack for testing. Leave that there. And yeah. I'll jump on Minecraft and we'll get on a creative world and yeah, I'll go from there. Right guys, so I've laid out Minecraft, we've obviously got, an, I've got a little world that's called My Add-on Tester. I suggest you guys make one of these just because it's good for testing. So we've got here, Tut, okay, so I'm going to add that to it and the rest is good. Right, so I'm in my little add-on testing world, and I've got this command here that just summons pigs, look. And in here I got a, a looting sword, okay. And as I'm going to show you, when I kill him, he dropped an apple, look, because it's weight two. And yellow wool. Now how much did we get in the end? Four. So we got the maximum amount. So again, I kill another one. He dropped some cooked pork, look, and a red piece of wool. This one, some cooked pork, some obviously black wool, and so on. But if I do the slash kill command, you'll see none of them will drop wool, as you can see. Easy, right? <laughs> anyway, guys, if you've got any questions, let me know. That was pretty easy. And yeah, all the links will be in the description. Thanks very much for watching.